I know I said that video is a subject near and dear to my heart, and it is, uh, but the next talk is about something that might even be closer to what I truly love in the world. Um, Jason is going to be talking to us about waffles. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know, the ones you eat. Yeah. So there you go. Go waffles! Even to everyone. Okay, Liège, Belgium is famous for many things internationally. One of them is the subject of this talk. Another is mystery author Georges Simenon, who's a prolific author of novels starring the uh, French police commissioner um, Maigret. And I knew about neither of these um, until my friend Sasha introduced me to them. And she grew up reading the great novels and spoke uh, Belgian accent and French and uh, lived in Belgium in her childhood. And we only lived about three hours away from Belgium in Germany. And so, of course, we had to make a road trip there. And so we drove there and we went to the Bat Farmer's Market, um, which is this giant farmer's market along the River Meuse. And uh, as we were walking under that bridge there, some, uh, a smell hit me in the face. Uh, right in the face. Um, thus ending about two decades of detente between me and Pigeonum. The entire nation of Belgium laughed at me, and I stared skyward kind of uh, warily for the re it kind of soured the rest of the vacation. Moving along, putting that behind us, a year later, we regrouped, got a whole lot more people to go back to Liège to check out this swanky restaurant called Chez Nou. And uh, they had a fixed price set menu. And guess what was for dinner? Waffles! Pigeon! <laughs> And let me tell you, revenge, it, it tastes kind of greasy and gamey, so I don't recommend it. But anyway, the next morning, the cold, cobblestone streets of Belgium, I see waffles being made. And it's unlike any waffle that I've ever had. It's served as a street food. So that brings me to the subject of this talk, which is waffles. I am mildly excited about this subject. But first, a disclaimer. I've got to say, this talk is only about one kind of waffle, which is Gaufres Liegeois, or Louis Waffles, the Liege Sugar Waffle. So, if you were expecting a bunch of a tour of all the awesome waffles out there, there are awesome waffles out there. Like everything from waffle mix to mochi waffles, they're, uh, they're called waffles. And then, the, like, you can have a waffle iron that makes popsicle shaped waffles with temperature controls. But Liege waffles are uniquely better than all of these other waffles because, for, for two reasons. One, they're made out of dough, it's a yeasty ball of dough that's put in the waffle iron, not a batter. Two, they're these Belgian pearl sugar that's kneaded into the dough before it's in there. So it caramelizes the outside of the waffle and then has these nodules of sugary goodness inside. It's amazing. Note for the audience, Swedish pearl sugar is not the same as Belgian pearl sugar. Don't use it. <laughs> so I had completely forgotten about these heavenly waffles. And then last year, I had a Dutch-speaking co-worker who heard through the Dutch-speaking grapevine that there's this Belgian waffle place in Salt Lake City. And this is an actual photo. These things are amazing. And so I moved here about two months ago, and I'm like, where can I find these? I was jonesing for my sugar waffle fix. And so I went on this waffle quest all over the city. The best waffles I found weren't Belgium. The Belgian, they were from our gang, and it was this chicken and waffles with a vanilla jalapeno-infused maple syrup. There's apparently a woman who's also going to be selling some pearl waffles at the uh, uh, farmer's market in Chula Vista. Anyway, my only recourse was to learn how to make them. So I checked out this out-of-print pr um, Belgian cookbook from the library. I constantly tracked down the author, Ruth Van Werbeek. I uh, got her permission to use this recipe. And she runs a cooking school, mapuyampai.cl. Check it out. Um, the first time I made it didn't work out quite right. But um, she actually helped me over email. The first dough came out kind of like a slime instead of like a dough. So this is the official recipe. So get ready to write this down. First of all, you need to proof the yeast. You get a package of yeast and a tablespoon of sugar and flour and then some more from the tap water and you proof it. You don't really need to do this, but it's fun to watch because you got the yeast bubbling. And then you use that to make the first batter of two. And you mix flour with your yeast mixer, mixture, a, a beaten egg, and a cup of lukewarm milk. You can nuke it in the microwave for about 15 seconds. That does the job. Um, and put it, uh, cover it, put it in a warm place, let it rise for about an hour till it doubles in size. While that's rising, make the second batter, which is lukewarm butter, uh, flour, sugar, vanilla, baking powder, a pinch of salt, and optionally cinnamon. But seriously, why would you not add cinnamon? Because cinnamon is awesome. And it also helps regulate your blood sugar levels. So here comes the fun part. You flour up your hands. You mix the two by hand, getting your hands dirty, adding up to uh, a third of a cup of flour optionally. 
and you also need in very quickly the pearl sugar. Um, if you don't have pearl sugar, you can use crushed sugar cubes, but I'm told they're not the same. That's what I use. Then you slap that wad of dough in your medium hot temperature controlled waffle iron, hopefully, and you cook it until it's done in the middle, but not overcooked and kind of chewy and underdone. And you can see what from the picture you want it to look golden like that. It is absolutely amazing. It's going to leave a sugar sludge that's kind of hard to clean out of your Belgian waffle iron, but it's worth it. So thank you very much, everyone. I'll be posting the slides and everything to the internet later and the recipe. And a big thank you to Ruth and Morgan.